Good evening. I'm Joe Smith, reporting once again on the ongoing conflict on Altus, and a lot has happened since my last report just a few days ago. In a major development, a rebel group by the name of the Ferrets has taken credit for breaking Kostas Stavro out of prison. It is believed that Stavro secretly established the Ferrets shortly after the CSAT occupation of Altus began, and they have finally gained enough strength to begin fighting, although it's not exactly clear how they were able to facilitate such an escape out of a high-security facility on the front line. CSAT soldiers who were present during the escape claimed that the soldiers who broke him out did not appear to be guerrillas at all, and were in fact a NATO Special Forces team equipped with diving gear and supported by an attack helicopter from far away. NATO, on the other hand, denies any involvement with the ferrets. Around the same time that morning, the USS Valor was able to sink the Russian warship Admiral Essen in a fierce naval battle, but not before being heavily damaged in the process. The Valor is now undergoing repairs in Greece. After seeing the progress NATO made the previous day, the 503rd Battalion of the 19th Motor Rifle Division moved towards Fab Bravo to reinforce the CSAT garrison there. In order to catch the convoy while they were moving, Yuri Company of the 101st Airborne Division paradropped near Paros. Although they were able to damage the convoy, they were ultimately unsuccessful in stopping it, and reckless calls for artillery fire and close air support resulted in severe collateral damage inside Paros. This incident has been named by some as the Paros Square Massacre, which has damaged NATO's relations with the local population, as CSAT has been far more careful so far and has not inflicted any civilian casualties. After the reinforcements reached FOB Bravo, the CSAT forces stationed there attempted to retake FOB Alpha, but were met with strong resistance from Dushman Company, who were able to inflict heavy losses on the attacking force and managed to maintain control over their base. A few hours later, FOB Bravo was shelled by the USS Virtuous and bombed by aircraft from the USS Freedom before Jetica Company were sent in with air support from attack helicopters to capture the base. They ended up destroying the CSAT battalion station there, and forced the 503rd Regiment to retreat, although a large military hospital was bombed during the assault, killing all the medical workers and wounded soldiers stationed there. At the same time, on the western side of the island, the Ferrets have claimed responsibility for an attack that destroyed surface-to-air missile installations near Oreo Castro, and crippled the command structure of the battalion base there. Moving on to the third day of the war, both sides opted for large-scale air operations over infantry combat. First, CSAT assigned numerous squadrons to overwhelm NATO's air defenses, which was a massive success, resulting in the destruction of all the anti-air vehicles while only losing one aircraft in the process. Now that they had air superiority, all remaining aircraft conducted airstrikes on Dushman and Jetica Company, crippling their ability to fight. In response, NATO used the cruise missiles to eliminate the remnants of 503rd Regiment, then conducted airstrikes on a radar site on the southern end of the island. This allowed NATO to conduct numerous airstrikes to completely wipe out the Ferris airfield, allowing Yuri Company to capture it with little to no resistance. However, due to the careless nature of these strikes, a 500-pound bomb from an F-18 hit a church and a cruise missile hit an IDAP field hospital. The exact number of civilian casualties from these incidents is yet to be determined. Strike two, baby. Boy. Shit, dead eye, dead eye, dead eye. Dead eye? The bomb's already gone. Where's my laser, Bob? Almost got it. Laser's on. It's too late. Oh, Jesus. Strike 2, Fox Warner. Bomb was almost a click short. Return to IP and re-engage as fragged. Except use my laser instead. Code 1688. Advise on IP and bound. How copy? Solid copy. 1688. Strike 2. As the situation continues to evolve, we will bring you more updates as they become available. For now, this has been Joe Smith, reporting for AAN News.